Fiona, I need to talk to you. This is a very serious matter. I just got out of a meeting with my manager. He said you went to him and asked him to fire me just because I was going to marry your son? Is this true? Yes. So what? Oh my goodness. Why would you do that? Why would you go behind my back to do such a thing? Do you have any idea how humiliating and unprofessional that was? How do you think that makes me look in front of my colleagues and boss? Julia, are you playing dumb or really don't understand? It seems like you don't understand the position you are in at the moment. I don't quite understand what you're implying, Fiona. You married my one and only son. You've joined our family as his wife. We can't have our only son's wife working at some good-for-nothing local company. That would tarnish our family's name. A wife's duty is to dedicate herself to her family and her husband. You're meant to commit yourself to Drake. Although I chose to marry Drake, that doesn't mean I'm throwing away my career. When Drake and I got married, we decided that I'm going to continue working. I love my job. I don't appreciate you disrespecting me in this way. I can't believe you choose to work at that average sad company though. Don't you have any self-respect? Don't you want to live a better life with Drake? Considering Drake's salary, it would be hard for us to have a comfortable life together if I didn't work too. That was one of the reasons why we decided to be a two-income household. I think I explained all of this to you before our wedding. Oh, did you? I don't recall. When you asked us to live with you once we got married, we said we couldn't do that because living in your house would make it impossible for Drake and me to commute to work. And as I explained multiple times, that I'm going to keep working so that I can contribute to Drake and I's life. Actually, there's been a bit of a change regarding Drake's work arrangement. He's agreed to quit his job so that he can finally join the family business. What? I didn't know about this. When did he decide this? Why didn't he tell me? So it would actually be inconvenient for Drake if he didn't live at our family home. He's already been preparing to move over here. He's getting ready to move? What? I'm actually heading over to your apartment in a few hours to help pack. Fiona, I don't know about any of this. You can't just move things along without asking me how I feel about it. You can't just make decisions for Drake and me without our consent. We'll have to pack as quickly as we can today so that you two can move in this weekend. That's why I visited your workplace yesterday to hand in your resignation for you. I wanted to make sure everything was in place for you and Drake to join us at our family home. But you're so ungrateful. Not even a thank you after everything I've done for you. I told you that I don't want to live with you. Have you forgotten that conversation too? What? Drake decided this? At least give Drake and me a chance to discuss this as a couple. Can't we decide on moving in after that? You can't throw all of this at me today and expect me to agree. Oh, that's not possible. It's already been decided. All you have to do is follow our orders and do as you're told. Just go with the flow, my dear. Are you being serious right now? How can you ignore my feelings and opinions to this extent? It's like I don't even exist. You think you have the right to say anything? You're the wife. It's not your place. If I lived with you, it would take me twice as long to go to work. That's why I'm telling you to quit. Drake is moving back to become the president of the family business. You're going to become the wife of a business owner. That's not the point, Fiona. Whatever you say, it's all been decided. You can protest all you want, but it's set in stone. Oh, and by the way, when you move in, You'll be handling most of the house chores. But of course, you know that, don't you? Since you're the wife. I can't do the chores. On top of work and the long commute, I won't have time for anything. You're the one who wants to keep working, right? If you want to keep working, you'll have to figure out a way to balance your responsibilities. Anyway, I'll do the packing for you too. You should show your appreciation a little. I have a meeting today, so I won't come home till late. Just don't touch my things. Let me at least have the privacy to sort through my own things. And I'm begging you, please let me talk to Drake about all this before we make any final decisions. It's all a little too much for me. I need time to process this. Fiona, are you seriously ignoring me? Hey Julia, when are you going to come home? Get out of work and go home right away. You want my family to starve? Sorry, I still have to go to the client. The company is having a big project and I'm the person in charge of this project. I cannot slack off. Can you ask your mother to cook for you? What? You didn't do it, but you ordered your mother-in-law to cook? I didn't order, I asked. If you don't want your mom to cook, you can reheat the leftovers in the fridge yourself. There are a lot of leftovers from yesterday in the fridge. There's still some beef stew in that pot. Huh? Who do you think you are slacking off like that? You're my wife. Why don't you stand in the kitchen and do what you're supposed to do for once in your life? I am. Even though I'm exhausted from the long commute, I sacrifice my sleep so that I can cook for you and your parents. How is that slacking? I don't care about that. 
You keeping your job is your own choice just to satisfy your own ego. Your responsibilities are at home. I won't let you slack off on things just because you selfishly want to keep working. Asking us to eat leftovers doesn't sound like a responsible wife to me. You think heating up leftovers is cooking? You are the definition of lazy. Why don't you cook something before you come at me for my cooking? I've never seen you make so much as a sandwich. My mom said house chores are the wife's job. I agree with her. It's not my place or my job. I wake up at 4 a.m. to cook and clean and go to work at 5.30 a.m. every morning. I come home past 9 p.m. to do laundry and make food for all of you to eat the next day. I go to sleep after midnight every night. I get four hours of sleep, Drake. Four hours. All of you literally work in the building next door to the house. All you have to do is wake up a little before 8 and walk over to work at 9. You can take lunch breaks whenever you want to, and sometimes you come home before 5 p.m., but I've never seen any of you do any housework. Why should we do your work? You're the freaking wife, Julia. It's not our job, it's yours. Don't you want to take care of the house you live in? Why don't you take care of it? I thought we agreed when we got married that we'd both keep working. You do your work as a wife, I do my work as next in line at my dad's construction firm. Isn't that what we said? Stop twisting the truth, Drake. You know, we never agreed on that. You ignored all of my wishes and went behind my back. I didn't want to move, but you and your mom packed all of our things while I was at work. You tricked me. You and your whole family tricked me into this. Julia, I'm my parents' only son. I have to do what I have to do. Drake, I'm begging you. Please think about me. Think about our family more. Think about our family? What do you mean? I'm honestly freaking out right now. I haven't been feeling very well recently and I thought it was because of the lack of sleep, but I found out that I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Are you sure? Yes, Drake, I'm sure. I thought I was sick because I was adjusting to the new environment, but I guess I was wrong. I'm three months pregnant. Three months? How come you didn't tell me sooner? For the sake of our future kid and our relationship, I need you to prioritize us. If you're pregnant, that means we'll have an heir to the family business. Mom is going to be ecstatic when she hears the news. I have to tell her right now. Wait, it's only the first trimester. It's too early to announce it yet. Anything could happen in these first few months. Oh, but I just posted online that we're pregnant. You did what? You posted it online without asking me first? Without considering how this might affect our baby or me? Well, you're actually pregnant, right? It's great news. Why not share it with the world? How could you treat this so lightly? This is a huge deal. This is a baby we're talking about. Mom kept pestering me about grandkids and heirs to the family business. She's going to be so happy when she hears this. Drake, once the baby is born, I don't think I can keep living like this. And I definitely don't want to live in that house. Why not? Mom will help take care of the kid. Isn't it better if we're living with them? That house isn't built for two families. There aren't enough rooms in the house. It is so old and the stairs are ridiculously steep. And there are things everywhere. What if the kid accidentally eats something she's not supposed to? It's just not the sort of environment to raise a child. I grew up there just fine! I'm saying it's not the kind of place for the two of us to raise a child. We have to raise our child in an environment that works for us. So are you saying you want to move out of my family's house? Yes, Drake, I am. From finding a nursery school for our baby to my work, staying at your parents' house isn't a realistic option for us. My mom is never going to agree to that. Screw what your mom thinks. What do you think? I want to know what you think. This isn't about your mom. This is about us and our family. I think we should do what my mom says. Drake, my OBGYN thinks I should rethink my current living conditions. I'm about to go for a checkup as we speak. Where's the checkup? My mom wants to know. Oh, it's fine. I'll go on my own. Come on. It's her first grandchild. She wants to ask the doc a bunch of questions. Just leave me alone, Drake. Let me deal with this on my own until the pregnancy stabilizes. So could you please think about moving out of your parents' house? If you care about me and our future child, that's the least you can do. Fine, fine. I'll think about it. But don't expect me to go against my mom's wishes. I heard you delivered the baby and that it's a healthy baby boy. Congratulations on giving birth to our family's heir. Fiona, what do you want? During the months I was pregnant, you didn't show any interest or concern for me or the baby. Why now, when you know it's a grandson, are you suddenly so enthusiastic and friendly? That's my grandson anyway. I have the right to inquire about my grandson's condition and well-being. You think I want to take care of you or be nice to you? 
Fine, your grandson is very healthy. He's a beautiful and strong baby who looks just like his father. If there are no more problems or questions, don't bother texting me anymore. I let you run back to your own parents until you had the baby, but I'd like you to come back as soon as you're discharged from the hospital and bring our grandson back home where he belongs. The doctor told me that I need bed rest for at least a month, given how difficult the birth was and how much pain I endured. I plan on staying here until I'm doing better and fully recovered. I disagree. Are you trying to keep the baby away from us? Are you trying to deprive us of our rights as his grandparents? I can't believe how greedy and selfish you are. If you care so much about the baby, then why haven't you come to visit me even once since I came here? Why haven't you seen your grandson with your own eyes? Our family runs a construction company. We don't have time to make little visits. We're busy with work and important matters. Oh, is that so? You're busy? Don't you have weekends off or holidays? Grandma spent all day at home lying on the couch watching TV, enjoying and giving orders to her daughter-in-law. Hey, don't be so rude. And plus, it's so far away. It's such a hassle to drive all the way there. I'm literally a two hour drive away from your house. It's not that far at all. You're just making excuses. Oh, shut up, Julia. Stop being so petty and bring back my grandson. And plus, you have to pack your things and move out as soon as you come back. What are you talking about? Moving out? Who's moving out? You, of course. You're no longer welcome in our house or our family. Oh my God. Am I allowed to move out of the house? Are you giving me permission to leave? Yes, you can. You can leave and never come back. We don't need you anymore. I can't believe Drake actually agreed to this. I thought he wouldn't take my side on this. He thought things through very carefully and decided that the best option is for you to get a divorce and move out of the house. Wait, who said anything about a divorce? I'd like you to bring the heir to our business back to our home, pack your bags, and leave. I don't understand. What are you saying? You want me to leave my child with you? And why would I leave Drake? While you were back slacking off at your family home, Drake found a lovely new lady that is perfect for our family. I was on maternity leave to deliver my baby. What do you mean, slacking off? But before I even get to that, what do you mean Drake met someone? He fell in love with a woman who comes from a family of respectable politicians. They started dating and clicked immediately, and they're already talking about getting married. This can't be true. I just had a baby. The woman can't become pregnant herself, so I want her to raise my grandchild as her own son. Since we're a construction company, having a connection to a family of politicians is perfect for us. So I'd like you to divorce Drake and move out of the house. Are you saying Drake has been cheating on me? Drake was messing around with another woman while I was out here on my own, struggling through labor? Yes, that's correct. He started seeing her before you went back to your parents' house, to be exact. While you were out at work, she would come over to our house and go on dates with Drake. The two of them were steadily deepening their love while you were gone. I suppose you didn't notice, given how stupid you are. He was cheating on me while I was at work. So you and Drake's father agreed to this? You let this happen? I'd much rather have Drake marry her and build ties with her family. It's much more beneficial to us than him marrying a lowlife like you. Honestly, at this point, I'm not surprised by anything that comes out of your mouth. Now, of course, this won't be for free. We're done with you. <laughs> I'll give you 35k for you to leave my son and the child with me. Are you sure? That's so generous of you. Huh? Why do you suddenly sound so happy? I can't believe you're giving me 35k. That's far more than the average alimony in adultery cases. And since Drake and I haven't been married for long, 35k is a great deal for me. I know. So you'll leave him, right? Of course. I have to sign the divorce papers and discuss custody with Drake. I like to have the opportunity to speak about this with Drake privately. I don't want you to be part of the divorce proceedings. Fine, if you insist. If you're still in love with Drake and want a chance to speak with him before everything comes to an end, I'll let you do that. I don't want to risk my health, so I'd like Drake to come out here to speak with me. I can't believe how stubborn you are. Don't you want the divorce to be final? Sooner rather than later? It's probably better for him to come to me than to wait for me to recover. All right, fine. I'll give him the divorce papers and have him come to you. Thank you for your understanding. Ah, everything is finally coming together. It hasn't even been a year since Drake and I got married, but thank you for everything, I guess. Well, I feel like you should be the one thanking me after everything I did for you and your family. 
But that doesn't matter anymore. No, it doesn't. Thank God I never have to deal with you and your stubborn, pathetic attitude ever again. Whatever. Goodbye. Julia, why haven't you come back here yet? It's been three months. When are you bringing my grandson to me? Oh, hi Fiona. It's been a while. It's been three months since we gave you the money. The baby should be healthy enough to leave the house by now. That child is meant to take over our family business someday. Hurry up and bring him to us and cut ties with Drake once and for all. Enough is enough. What are you talking about? I have full custody of my baby. He's not going anywhere with you or Drake. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean you have full custody of the baby boy? How did that happen? I thought Drake has full custody of him, according to our agreement. Oh gosh, guess you haven't heard anything from Drake lately. When Drake and I met to discuss the conditions of our divorce a few months ago, we decided that I would have full custody of our child, while Drake pays child support every month until he turns 18. We settled on this in the presence of our lawyers and signed the papers right away. It's been set in stone for months now. You're lying. And plus, we only paid you the alimony as a one-time payment for leaving our family peacefully. Fiona, maybe you should take a look at your family and your company's financial situation a little better from now on before making such rash decisions. What are you suggesting, Julia? What are you talking about? I definitely received both the alimony and the child support in full. Both of those payments came from your husband's bank account. Don't you know about this? Don't you check your bank statements regularly? That's impossible. I don't know any of this. When did this happen? Well, it happened around the same time that you paid me the alimony. I doubt Drake had much money to his name after quitting his previous company and joining the family business, which was already struggling financially. But I don't really care who paid me the money from which accounts since I already got what's mine and what's fair to my son. Oh my goodness. Are you saying Drake used my husband's account to pay you? Wasn't the business already in the red for a while? I hope Drake didn't run the business dry by paying me. I just checked our accounts and it's all gone. Even the investment from the bank that took months to finalize and was supposed to save our company. All of it is gone because of you and your greedy demands. Oh, Fiona, come on. This is all for your grandchild. The grandchild you were so excited to welcome into your family and groom as your heir. Every single penny will be used to give him the life he deserves. A life that you couldn't give him. It's fine. We can figure out a way to get the money back through the marriage with a politician's daughter. Once we have that connection, we'll have more jobs at our construction company and more influence in society. And we can always get money from that woman's family. They're rich and powerful, unlike you. If you thought this would hurt us, you're wrong. We're tougher than that. This doesn't hurt one bit. If it's money, we have more than you could ever imagine. So enough with the nonsense, Julia. Give me the child now. He belongs with us, not with you. Ah, but wasn't that politician arrested recently? He's under investigation for money laundering or corruption or something along those lines. I have a feeling whatever ties you were hoping for might have gone up in smoke, Fiona. <laughs> he was arrested? If I remember correctly, there were always rumors going around that he was involved in some sneaky money laundering schemes with some shady people. I heard the IRS and the FBI are all moving in on him and his associates. Are you sure everything is as okay as you say it is? Are you sure you didn't get yourself into more trouble than you can handle? This can't be happening. How am I now hearing of this? I thought if Drake married into that family, we'd have a secure future and we'd never have to worry about money again. I thought we'd be set for life. Oh, if it's actually some sort of fraud case, I think everyone that had ties with him is going to be investigated, including your husband's company. They're going to dig deep into your finances and your dealings. What investigation? What could they possibly have on us? Probably his cash flow and all of your financial statements, contracts, investments. We're talking about a potential money laundering politician here. They're going to want to know if you received any money from him or helped him hide something or if you've given him money. You'd be screwed if they found out you've done something like that. You could face serious charges and penalties. Of course we have. We had no choice. We needed the money to keep our business afloat. Oh, well, you admitted that pretty quickly. <laughs> Well, I'm not part of the IRS or the police force, so it doesn't really matter what you did or what happens to you. I got what I asked for and what I deserved. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? We might lose all of our money, our company, and our heir? We might lose everything we've worked for all these years. This can't be true, Julia. This cannot be true. 
Anyhow, I have a feeling this is no longer my place to speak. I'm looking forward to seeing your husband's company on the news and how it crumbles under the pressure of the investigation. Julia, you can't do this to us. You can't leave us like this. Give us back the alimony and the child support immediately and come back to our home with my grandchild right now. There's no reason for me to go back to that house. Plus, Drake has a new wife now. The woman he cheated on me with while I was pregnant with his child. That doesn't matter. I'll force them to break up. Drake will do anything I tell him to. He's my son, and he listens to me. I can't let him stay on this sinking ship with that woman who ruined our family. I have to save my family from losing everything. I honestly think it's too late, Fiona. Weren't you saying the business is already in the red? I don't think you can do anything to turn things around at this point. Just accept the fact that it's all over for you and your family. Weren't you working in accounting or finance or something? Come back immediately and rewrite our books. Jesus Christ, Fiona. What are you trying to do now? I want you to come back and rid of anything that could be used as evidence of tax fraud or money laundering. I want you to clean up our accounts. If we don't act quickly, they're going to come after us. Do you seriously want to be held responsible for the destruction of our family? I don't care. And I don't want to be involved, Fiona. I'm done with you and your family. I want to live a quiet life with my son far away from all this drama. That child is my grandson. That's Drake's son. We have every right to him. Like I said, Drake gave up his right to my son. I have full custody of him now. He hasn't even met his own child. Not even once. If you want to live separately, you can go ahead. I'll let you do that. So, remarry Drake. Come back to our family and fix our business. You probably don't have anything to do since you're on maternity leave or sick leave or whatever. You don't have anything better to do. I'm busy raising my son, Fiona. I don't want anything to do with this. And I can't help you get out of this mess. This is beyond me anyways. Goodbye, Fiona. You won't be hearing from me anymore. I have to meet with my lawyer to discuss suing that woman who Drake had an affair with for causing emotional damages, and also put a restraining order on you and your family. No, this can't be happening. Where did I make a mistake? Is this because I chose her over you? If I knew any of this would have happened, I wouldn't have let Drake get close to her. Julia, are you ignoring me? Julia, someone help us, please. Julia, you can't leave us like this. The money laundering case turned out to be a major scandal that rocked the whole country. And authorities ended up investigating Drake's father's company too. They found out the entire family, from Drake's parents to Drake himself, was involved in an elaborate money laundering and tax fraud scheme, using their construction business as a front. The company was immediately shut down, and all its assets were seized. To top it all off, since Drake paid the alimony and child support with the investment money from the bank, that entire family, including the woman he cheated on me with, is now face to face with poverty. They have nothing left but their shame and guilt. They tried to beg me for forgiveness and help, but I turned them away. I don't owe them anything after what they did to me. I'm happy with my new life. I have a wonderful son who loves me and a successful career that fulfills me. I don't need them in my life anymore. They can rot in jail for all I care. Karma has finally caught up with them and I couldn't be more satisfied.